Now at five, keeping an eye on Intel. For more than two years, 10TV has been monitoring the historic investment to be made here in Central Ohio. And tonight, there's a new huge boost for the Silicon Heartland. President Joe Biden touting major funding to the company across the U.S., and that includes billions for the Intel plant in New Albany. But the big investment comes as the timeline for the project has now been pushed back. According to Senator Sherrod Brown, this new funding for Intel is all thanks to the CHIPS Act. Leaders say the money will help momentum. A big boost to Ohio's Intel project. This is a chunk of a big chunk of money. But I can say with pretty good confidence that uh, the Ohio share of this will be in the, you know, in the billions. $8.5 billion is getting split between four Intel projects across the country, including the one here in Lincoln County. Ohio leaders say the money will help propel the project. It's going to allow the project to reach its full potential. It's going to bury the term Rust Belt once and for all. The funding also includes millions to fund the future of Ohio workers. We are partnering with 80 education institutions to develop the next the workforce who's going to work in these fabs. 80 across the entire state, Central Ohio, Southeast Ohio. Senator Sherrod Brown says the investment is expected to create 3,000 manufacturing and 7,000 construction jobs here in the Buckeye State. We're going to be building in Ohio for a long time, and we're here to support it. The Silicon Heartland, as we call it, is real. When this project's done, Ohio's going to make the most modern semiconductors on the planet. That's a fact. Governor DeWine says he's not concerned about Intel pushing back its construction timeline because it's still in the range the company initially gave for the project. Intel says it plans to have that facility up and running in 2027 or 2028.